All right. Welcome to meeting for the module 10, comparing objects. So we have a class called person, and there is a private variable string first name, string last name, and integer age. To that, we have a person, string first name, string last name, and integer age. And then we have a William equal object and hash code integer. So this is already the the creator first. I think the UML diamond have a little off because we don't have a weight when we put the integer weight instead of string last name. Okay, whatever. So they have a constructor here. And then you see, we call the why not require. It is good practice to use the override annotation, both the equals and hash code method like so. So they want us to put at override public boolean equals object other. And then add override public integer hash code. We call that the this keyword is used to refer to the current object. We call that we select which attributes are important when comparing objects. And that if those attributes are equal, then two objects with the same value for those attributes are equal. So step one, comparing object, let's start off creating the equal method. So for the person class, we will say that two person objects are equal if only if the first name and last Last name of both are equal. Let's break down how to create the equal method for the person class so that it only looks at the first name and last name attribute to determine equivalence. Create an equal method, enter the command. So it's on line um, 25. So we're going to start writing at override and then public green equals add object other. And then we have like a one, two, three, four. Okay, take in an object class argument and call it other. That's why we write here object other. Object class argument call other. Check if the current object, the other object is the same object by returning true. If the current object, this is equal to using this operate equal equal operator as the other. So if this equal equal other return true, check if the other object is now by returning force if other is now. So if other equal equal now return force. Check if the other object is same class as the current object by returning force. If get class is not equal to using the other dot get class. So if get class method is not equal to other dot get class, return false. Lastly, check if other object first name, last name attribute are the same as the current object bar. Before we have to cast before doing this, we have to pass. So first casting the other object into a person class. So person, other person equal to casting person, other. Comparing if the current object first name and last name are equal to the cast object first name and last name. So cast object is called other, right? So we're gonna compare with equals to right here because it's a string names. So first name dot equals, comparing with what has object first name and last name. So has object is other person dot first name and last name equals other person dot last name. 
So this is our this object equals other object, not a first thing object. So, okay, and then next we have to do the hash object method. So let's now create the hash pro method. As you saw in the topic, you could just use any arbitrary integer and call it the hash code. Uh, this is not a good hash code to instead we will be using a meta call object dot hash to generate the hash code. So the object dot hash meta takes any number of variable that we want to create a hash code from. While there are other ways to generate a hash code using object dot hash, that's what we need for our purpose. So to use the object dot hash meta, we must first input it using the word dot util object at the top right here on line to import Java dot utility util dot objects. So for the person class, since we have seen that a unique person object is defined by a unique first name and last name, we will be doing those to generate a hash code. So create a hash code and run the command. We will then the hash of the first name and last name using object dot hash method. So return object dot hash method. It has a first name and last name, simple. Make sure to input the uh, Java YouTube package we already did. And whenever we create a hash map, that is a public integer hash code. And return object or hash map, that first name and last name, that's it. And run it, run That's all. So builds a software. That will be a for comparing object. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.